Hey, Bobby here. Why do nice guys really finish last? Now, I'm sure you probably heard that expression more than once. Nice guys finish last with girls or don't be the nice guy. You probably might even understand it on a sort of logical level, but to really get it in this video, I'm going to explain what makes being nice so detrimental to your success with women. So why is being nice so detrimental? The answer is actually really, really simple. It's because the woman associates you being nice as you trying too hard. And that try hard behavior, she associates with a very low status person. You see, sort of even on a, on a conscious and an, and an unconscious level, a woman is sort of noticing all these things about you, right? She notices how quick you are to return her phone calls. She notices uh, how much you agree, agree with things she says. Uh, if she starts like, you know, a TV show, do you like every TV show she likes? Do you like every type of music that she likes? Are you too agreeable? Because you may think you're sort of building rapport with her, but in her mind, she's like, this guy is trying way too hard to be nice, to get me to like him. The thing is, the guys that have a lot going on in their lives, the sort of high status guys, these guys aren't answering every phone call. You know, every time a woman texts them, they're not immediately jumping back. They're not agreeing with everything she says, right? They're not afraid to disagree with her. They're not texting her right back. They're not putting up with the little sort of tests that she gives, her rude behavior, all that sort of stuff. They're not doing anything. If you don't know what a shit test is, first of all, a shit test is something that a woman does on a sort of subconscious level to see how much she can get away with. Uh, one thing that a woman might do is maybe if you're hanging out with her, you're, you know, you're at a restaurant or a bar with her and the entire conversation, she's like texting one of her friends on her phone. Now, a nice guy, he's going to deal with it, right? Because he's going to think that by being cool about it, by being nice about it, it's going to make her like him more. But it actually has the opposite effect. The woman actually thinks, man, this guy will let me get away with anything. He's got absolutely no balls and any attraction she felt just completely diminishes, right? Your status goes really low. On the other hand, a high status guy, he's gonna actually stop her and he's gonna make a comment like, hey, we're hanging out, Yo, give me that phone, right? Uh, he might do it in a joking around way. Like he's not gonna be an asshole about it, but he's gonna do it. He's gonna put an end to that sort of rude behavior and women like that. They expect it, they're attracted to that sort of uh, behavior. Now, I used to work in a restaurant and there was this guy, Frank, and he was that typical nice guy. Frank was the guy that when a girl needed off, she immediately went to him because she knew that you know he would say yes. Or if she was having a problem with a manager and she needed somebody to lie for her, Frank would be the one to do it. If she needed to vent about the guy she was fucking, Frank would listen. I remember one time on New Year's Eve, a girl came up to me and she's like, oh, Bobby, will you, will you please work for me tonight? Will you work my shift, pretty please? And I'm like, what are you, crazy? I'm going out tonight, you know? About three seconds later, I look over and there's Frank, you know, sure enough, signing a slip of paper, agreeing to work for her. See, that's typical nice guy behavior. In Frank's mind, he was thinking, wow, I just showed her that I'm willing to work for her on New Year's Eve. She's going to be so impressed and think I'm such an awesome guy. Actually, what you just showed her, Frank, was that you're the kind of guy who has nothing better to do on New Year's Eve except suck up to her and try to work for her. That's not the kind of guy she wants to be with. My point is when you act too nice or too agreeable, a woman knows you're acting that way because you have to be, because you don't have any choice, because your game's not good enough to do anything else and because you want something from her. That's unattractive. She wants to have to fight for your attention. She wants to wonder what you're doing and she wants you in a manly sort of way to be willing to put her in a pl her, her place. The odd thing is, you know, as your game improves, you naturally begin doing all these things. You naturally begin you know, giving her less attention. You naturally become less agreeable and you even become a little less nice. This is because you're no longer hungry. Uh, you're no longer afraid to lose a girl. And this is the kind of guy that a girl actually wants to be with. Now, what I want you to do for the next week is I want you to fake it until you make it. Even if you're not at that point in your life where you have tons of options, right? The next time you're interacting with a woman, I want you to sort of pretend that you have a hot Eastern European supermodel waiting for you back in your bedroom. Now, think about it. Don't you think you would act a little bit differently knowing that? That's how I want you to act. I want you to see how the reaction of women to changes towards you 
when you sort of have that ability to walk away, you kind of have that knowing knowledge, like I already have somebody. Now, if you're the kind of guy who needs a roadmap, here's what I suggest. Watch my video where I teach a little mind game called the scrambler that you can follow along with. That makes sure you're not being too nice and it gets a woman chasing you. You can click the link or you can go to unlockherlegs.com forward slash scrambler to watch that video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get new videos every week. And if you're really interested in this idea of women testing you, look through my channel because I have several videos on this idea of handling these tests. See you next week.